Anyways, uh, speaking of paratroopers, we see Muhammad going for transport plane production on the Axis side. Um, and uh, going to Italy? I don't know. Actually, if he's building transport planes, it makes me think he's not doing Germany, right? Because Germany yeah. gets fifty transport planes. If you do Panzer Group West, you get fifty transport planes just by going that focus. He, so he, he could be going Fourth Army. Fourth Army is potential. Yeah. Get a railway gun, medium tank production. Only a 20 width armor versus the 32 width heavy uh, division. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, uh, you get the 200 small airframe, improved small airframes uh, with that one too. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, he's uh, going in into uh, fighter production. It's uh, This is one of the airplane uh, designs that we've seen over and over again. Dual double heavy machine guns and then uh, 2x cannons. And then armor plates, drop tanks, and self-sealing fuel tanks. Mm -hmm. Quite common. And then for the CAS, it's double anti-tank cannon bomb locks with dive brakes, uh, drop tanks, and self-sealing uh, self fuel tanks. So this is probably like the meta uh, CAS and fighter that we've seen over yeah. and over again. Meanwhile, on the side of Catchlack, he's deciding to go. Even though he did, uh, he is now going survivability studies. Makes me think that he is going uh, for his own fighters or casts of his own. But um, that being said, he did research anti-air too, and he has four queued up on it. He also has five factories queued up on improved artillery too, and he's making both improved, uh, uh, inf I mean, infantry equipment one and basic infantry equipment. So, and then someone clarified that that doesn't actually help. When you build two separate lines of infantry equipment, I've heard conflicting reports on whether or not that actually is better for your production efficiency. Because when you start the game, you by default have a line that you can put as many factories as you want. Yeah, on the latest gun. Mm -hmm. Yes. So wouldn't it be better to just do the latest gun? I mean, it might be different because he seems to only be putting one factory. If that stays the same... Maybe then it's just really optimal to have one factory max efficiency pumping guns. Basic infantry equipment, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's it's three soft attack compared to six soft attack, though. Yeah, it's awful. Absolutely awful. At least compared to the base stats you'll get once you make a full template of infantry. I think we've established by now that at least on this map, you really need to prioritize getting like really, really good base stat units if you want to push in. It's a little minimized because of how wide the tiles in Libya are now, but I don't think you can afford... We go a quantity approach. We have yet to see that really do well, at least recently. Huh. Also, I'm noticing that Germany is not going a spy agency, but the Allies are. Is it going to be another devious lick? Is he going to is he going to reduce his war support again and get strikes? The propaganda play. Get some deep deck. You know, oddly enough, the oh Allied he is he is, is it... oh he stopped it. Who's doing the upgrade for uh, propaganda increased strength? He's doing counter intel now. Oh, he canceled it. Mhm. Mm yeah, he's waiting for his second operative probably to start doing that. Um, that interestingly enough, the Allied player decided to go Commonwealth. I guess maybe to train his fleet, but he went Commonwealth before finishing his mill. So we already know what the Allied player is doing. He's doing Commonwealth. I didn't realize it spawned in a tank division. It is a light tank division with 19 org, though. And the template is not bussing. It has less than 100 soft attack. However, you could d disband it and then take the 420 tanks you get, like light tanks, and put them as light tank recon. Give is, armor to your units. Is light tank recon okay? Good. If, you, if the base tank that you're putting into the template has decent stats, it's actually really nice. Okay. Well, we do it in TFB all the time. Yeah. Well, TFB light tank recon, I think, is just pretty strong. Yeah, but like if you go into the template, I don't know if it'll let me. It will. If I throw in armored. Never mind. It won't actually. Stand by. Oh my god, never mind. With that tank that is, he has, the base model of it, if he put it in as a recon company, it increases his soft attack by three. <laughs> Literally yeah. three. I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, that's, that's a. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah. Does that mean that Armored Recon can use... Oh no, Armored Recon, why is it actually not pulling the stats of the tank? Does he have it designed, or is it just an empty... 
Hey, he has the Matilda too. But it's a heavy tank. Uh. Oh my god, you should look at the light tank that he gets. Yo, take a look. The turret on it is actually fine. All the other modules are just not good. <laughs> he gets he gets a heavy machine gun on it. He doesn't get like a, a small armament. Honestly, it might even be worthwhile for you to refit. He could get 20 soft attack on it. And then change the modules around. Because we've seen people go, uh, what was it again? Is it small cannon spam or heavy cannon spam? Uh, small cannon spam. Have we seen heavy cannon spam? Can't remember. The one thing that I get lost in trans. Yeah, like he could change the tank. I just made like a rough one. He could refit for six IC and get twenty more soft attack, and then at that point, you can make a pretty good division with it. I will stand by though. I I feel like with the way things have panned out, that there's very little reason. To not elect to get the country specific equipment and then just making a tank and then just starting to build efficiency on it. Because we've seen people try to like build their own uh, stockpile up at some point during the war and it just takes too long. Yeah, it definitely takes too long. Unless you have, like, if you're able to get it, I think if you're able to get it below 8 IC, then it's, it could work. But yeah, anything above that, yeah. it's just not possible, I don't think. You're not going to get enough. To be fair though, 8IC is very difficult to do normally. It is. Unless yeah. you know specifically what you're going for. Um, there's only specific tanks that can do that, and also you have to go Soviets or you have to go uh or you right. have to go German Fourth Army. Speaking of Fourth Army though, uh the the Axis player is actually opting in for Japan play. As we were saying, it's very unlikely that he will go the Panzer Group West since he is opting to build transport planes of his own. Uh, meanwhile, the allied player is going Commonwealth. Uh, we still don't see what exact path he's doing in the Commonwealth. But um, yeah, it's both players now showing what path they're deciding to go with. Um, uh, are you, do you think it's going to be uh, Imperial Japanese Navy or Imperial Japanese Army? And probably. I, honestly. Probably going to be Imperial Japanese Navy. Navy, okay. And then do you think it's going to be Commonwealth 8th Army or Canadian 1st Army? I'll be very surprised if it's Canadian. You really don't think it? We've seen. It's not that I don't think it's good. I haven't seen anybody properly use it. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. It's like we saw in the beginning of Commanders in Conflict Open. We saw Canadian uh, First twice. Army twice, but then after that, we haven't seen it at all. You know, like players tested with it at first, and then they realized, like, hmm, maybe this isn't the best path to go. You know, well, like you get. You know, if, if there is potential, like if you go to Sherman, if you go to Sherman focus and then get the upgraded version of the spawn ins, I think there is a path to making it viable. We just haven't seen it yet. Okay, now it's stable. Let's go. We're back, internet bros. It was, it's back and it's stable. I don't know what it was, but uh, just restarting the stream, it fixed the upload rate. I don't know why it had the issue in the first place because I do have a hundred uh, mega megabit upload speed and it seems to be fine. I thought my internet was just being it, really it, bad. It could just be the middleman. Uh, it could be, yeah, through. because we don't actually have the stream key for Speed Five since it's me, Absolute Habibi, uh, hosting right now. This is off my computer, uh, live from California, six a.m. here by by the way. Um, it could have been that the service that we use, the middleman, is having some issues. But basically restarting it, um, and it's good to go. We're good to go. We're now back into the game. And, um, yeah, um, you know, we're seeing Canadian First Army. You know, speaking of it, uh, we were just talking about how Canadian First Army might not be the play. Uh, it's just, I see Adopt the Sherman on my screen. Yeah, so... It, Axis player going for carriers to the straight. He rushed down skimp on resources. So he's got fighter resource, uh, fighter production. It already boosted up. A lot of fighters being made. Meanwhile, on the side of the allies, not even going for cast, just going for fighters and anti air. Um, the, and adopt the Sherman path taken. So now he gets the updated tank. And by the way, if you update your tank and then you do your spawn ins, your spawn ins will have a better tank. 
Uh, you can see the... Where's the Sherman that you get? Stop the Sherman. It should be the Sherman too. I don't see it. Interesting. Does he only get access to the Grant because he went Canadian? But that wouldn't even make sense. I mean, the Grant, Grant isn't that bad. It's decent. I mean, you could change the modules around. It'd be really cheap to refit because the cannon's fine. Good morning, Antars. Uh... It do where is it? I'm looking through. Let's see what happens when his tank spawns in. Because it does say that he gets access to the country tag for it. Great so odds are he'll still get it. Medium tank variant, 50 of basic army tank media chassis. So you get a he, bunch of grants. You get a bunch of grants. What's interesting to me is looking at his focus tree, right? He's electing to go down maple leaf route first so i'm assuming he wants to build up his railways but it's nine days to war but god this is a little unfortunate for because he only has what is that 17 divisions total he's 16 divisions but he's launching everywhere if he's able to get naval superiority however it's going to be quite challenging to get naval superiority to uh the japanese carrier fleet um as we learned last week superiority uh, is dependent on manpower of the ships that you are my flying. Mind. Yeah, it's all based on manpower. I still power. can't believe that. It's uh, that, I, God, that, that just just thinking about that. You know, it kind of just like you know how would they measure like the guns and stuff? It would be very complicated. So uh, you know, just measuring the manpower it, of the ships. It's you're absolutely easier. right. It's just it was such an epiphany moment where I like it was like opening a third eye. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Opening his third eye chat. Well, here you go. The war has begun. Let's see who's able to launch and who's able to not launch. Oh, they're dropping to the airport, but not onto the port. Will the okay. Germans get the fucking port? The submarines no, are stopping the port. Submarines are stopping the convoys. Submarines are stopping the convoy. That's exactly what he needs. Uh, now Malta goes to the side of the Axis. Can he now wait, do one wait, for Wait, 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 wait. He pair dropped from the airport that was cut off. You can do that? Yeah, you can. Since when? I thought you couldn't do that anymore ever since. The, uh, you know what? I'm learning things new. And now he's trying to do one to Crete. Is he going to do it on time? No, he's not. He's going for a Galia. Interesting. Okay. He could have gone for Crete here. That, I think that's a mistake, honestly. That is a mistake, honestly. I really think so, too. Like, you could have got both islands day one. It's a huge, huge, huge... He could still do it. He should... He should. Uh, if I'm him right now, I actually pair drop from Malta over to Crete and send the planes back. And use your other four paratroopers to get in. He has multiple ways. Oh, oh, he's doing it now. He's moving two divisions. Is he realizing what he's doing? Okay. Oh my god, Germany bros, we might be cooking. You no know, way. is he actually going to get it? I think, like, he just, uh, the, he realized that the guy's not even getting Crete. Are they this still is, stuck? Where are they? Perma they're still, they're still stuck? If you look at the naval battle, his fleet went in to convoy escort, but they're trying to hunt down the subs. So even though the convoys have already disengaged, they'll stay in the battle until that shit's resolved. You, the you sub get is held waiting. Hostage. Yeah, the it, sub's it's waiting. It's a fuck up by the allied player because he needs to press disengage to get out. Yeah. Okay, uh, he, he para dropped here as well. I don't. Is he gonna do it? He he. Why? Just go for Crete. He. I don't think he realizes yet. I mean, it's a devious lick. His infantry have pretty good stats, and it's a blunder that the Allied player didn't actually set up the air over Libya just to contest them, because you need to have really high supremacy, but there's literally only under 20 planes, or 100 planes only, over Tripoli. Now he's last standing with the divisions. Do you think he's going to get to Wadan in time to be able to die him the city? I think so, yeah. He's one tile away. Axis I mean, player is one tile away. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, he's one tile away from getting Wadan, the city. He might um, be able to actually reinforce the city. No way. Yeah, he's there. But this is a really good opening. Galia, yeah, the, the Axis player has a really great opening. Has one, two, three uh, victory points compared to the Axis ally player who only has one. Because still, they still doesn't have Crete. He still doesn't have Crete. Yeah, he, he's not disengaging the fleet. Exactly what I said before happened a second time. He could still take Crete if he para drops. To be fair, though, he's doing really well right now. He's actually... This was one of the better openings I think we've ever seen from a Germany on the new map. Yeah. Actually was proactive in taking uh, central Libya. Now let's see if he has the foresight to connect the railroad to the supply hub in his rear behind the city. I, I while just... he does have the port. 
it's uh, it's you know we we keep saying this actually we kept saying this is that we people kept focusing so much on navy on this map um and navy does have some importance right um uh, actually a lot of importance but not a lot of people were doing um uh, paratroopers mm -hmm. you know a lot of people th are thinking like oh man i can't directly paratroop to malta but if you got fast fingers you just paratroop to tunis and then par paratroop to malta and that's mm -hmm. still even if you are kind of slow with that that's if you are convoy raiding with some submarines, that is still faster than uh, doing a naval invasion. As we saw the naval invasions, and by the way, Allied player is still caught once again hostage by the submarines. Axis player losing his subs, but these are sub ones. These are these are sub ones that are basically dying. But and he could have gone for Malta. He still could have not for Malta for Crete. Axis player, player. Axis player could have actually got a Crete and put the ally player in this really rough position where he has one victory point. In the defense of the allied player, it's still okay. He could still get Crete. I would be more concerned with the fact that since he doesn't have a Galia, he has no supply. And the furthest supply hub is literally four tiles back. Like, he has to retreat. Like, he doesn't have a choice now. He, he, if I'm him, I'm retreating to the mountain south of Benghazi and then making a line that uh, is based on that supply hub. Because you'll never be able to, to secure this. He'll have yeah. to build a port on the front line if he wants to get supply. Yeah, and we can now Wait. see the Axis player is just pushing oh, him mind. off the front line over and over again. Because he's in, the Axis player is in such a comfortable position here. Um, even though he's sitting here with 22 width, uh, not even 20, I don't know why he called them 22 and Visions. These are 16 widths. He lied to us. 16 widths with support artillery. Um, this is enough to hold the front line. And he's winning the air battle uh, just because of the nature of having way more on fighters. And not Ooh. only that, he has... Oh, he, he, he should for sure attack that, that fleet that's south of uh, Crete. There, it has red supply, so the carrier won't do anything in the naval battle. He'd 100% uh... win. The, al the allied fleet has no supply. Why? What causes it to have no supply on your fleet? For some reason, uh, ever since... Oh, I can't remember the DLC. Uh, the one that added supply? Yeah, they... The way that supply routes into your fleet is just bizarre. So even though he has that port that's really close by, it the, the way it projects is strange. I can't even give you like a cohesive answer as to specifically what fucks it. It's just that it doesn't work. So if you ever have red supply on a carrier-based fleet, you, it just won't do anything. Huh. Yeah, it's really rough. Well, uh, Axis player still... Oh wait, actually, I'm, I'm wrong. Well, maybe... No, he can't actually. Uh, what? So it turns out he was trying to drop onto Crete, but both Malta and the airbase in Tripoli are too far away to airdrop Crete. I did ah. not know that. Wow, actually, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Huh. Just, just like a hair lick away. Unfortunate. I mean, to be fair, I mean, let me tag over to the US. I want to see. Where's the allies? Okay, so he did make that line. He is retreated. Uh, the supply hub still isn't connected in. I see a squiggly line at City Barani. Uh, why isn't that supply hub connected? That's a little strange. Is it still building? Oh my god, I'm looking at his, con look at his construction tab. What is happening here? The Axis or Allied player? Uh, Allied player. He's making a, a, a I think he's making a trapezoid in Marsamutra. What, what? Whoa, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on there? Uh, and his tank is just losing... He's just losing medium tanks right now. Yep. By just sitting his tank right here, he's just losing medium tanks. Let me check to see if he spawned in with Shermans. No, he only spawned in with Grant 1s. That's strange. I'm assuming then that you're not able to get the Sherman if you don't go US. Grant a Sherman 2 medium tank variant. Is it because the Grant is the medium tank? Uh, I'm not make familiar sense with this. Because this is a basic. It says improved tank. Yeah, this is a create Sherman 2 medium tank variant on gaining technology improved medium tank chassis. We don't see the medium 2. Is this a bug? We have to report. I don't know. I don't know. I it don't could be intentional. see the Sherman. I don't see the Sherman. I also don't see the improved medium tank chassis.
Does he have to research the improved? On gaining technology. Oh! Oh my god, we can't read. Neither of us can read. Oh my god, chat bros, you are so right. Oh yeah, he, he does. He could have researched it in 70 days. That's- Wow! Wow, that's not- That is not busting whatsoever. For some reason my technology is bugged. Is it really? Oh. Huh. Well, I can relate to you right now that he has the 38 medium, but the 40 medium chassis would take him 73 days. Oh, you're back. Yeah, he- Oh, wow. I, I can't believe we- <laughs> Okay. Chat bros, we're just blind. That's fair enough, then. Huh. If that's the case, then, hmm. Yeah, I would still say, because the Sherman 2, if, if memory serves, it had some, it was like, like, it had like 50 soft attack or something insane, right? When we looked yeah. at it, it was a yeah. really good tank for the for really what a spawn-in would be. It's a really good tank, and then all of your spawn-ins would get those really good tanks. And now, instead of getting those really good tanks, you're getting, like, these... You know, the Grant 1 is, like, it's not the worst tank. You know, like, it's 7.1 uh, kilometers, 84 reliability, 37 soft attack, 23 hard attack, 58.6 armor. It's actually not that bad. Uh, but the Sherman would just be better. Sherman variant would just be better. And keep Agreed. in mind, the Sherman variant that you do get comes with engine and armor upgrades. FYI. I mean, for the IC that you spawn in, the raw IC, it's extremely worth. Yeah. To be fair, though, we're just big dummies. And keep in mind now, the Axis player is now digging in, building, uh, looking at the C tiles, dude. All of the, all of the counter rating and the rating. Oh, and naval invasion on. Oh no, it's a naval battle. Oh. Oh, he's on Yamato's the Yamato's down. The Yamato's dead. The Yamato is dead. Rip Yamato. How, why was it where there? Where is his carry? Where are his carriers? I don't know where they... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Something is very strange. Is the Yamato in its own task group alone? I think the Yamato was trying to shore bombard or something. Let me check. I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, my God. I... Well, Yamato first off, he didn't have his alone. fleet on always Storm engage. Goal. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, yeah, that, that's a big fuck up. Yeah, Yamato is dead. Well, you know, it is a, a mess up by the Axis player, but now he's uh, not in, like the worst position. He can still um, no, he's still great. Yeah, he's, he's still, still extremely fine. well off. If what I would be doing if I was him is probably building up forts on the front line because it's uh, three that's tiles exactly by doing. itself. Yeah, that's what oh, he's yeah, doing. Yeah, he's got one in the center. But you he should focus also... on Agalia. Now that he lost Navy, what he needs to do is uh, build railways to uh, the ports, so he doesn't just... And he Strangely can just... enough, he's building an airport in CERT, but I don't know where the airport actually spawns in. He might spawn it for the enemy. No way. Is that actually how that works? Yeah, the way airports work is that it's based on the map file, if memory serves, so when you make it in a state, it's just random chance. It's not random chance. It's a, a predestined... It's a set destination. So if you own the state, you can construct things in it, but that doesn't change the fact that if it's set to be on a tile that you don't own, GG, bro. It happens so, a lot, actually. So right now, he might be making an airport for his enemy. Theoretically, yes. Oh, they can't do that. <laughs> How'd that even work? They're just the uh, Japanese dudes on the other side of the border building an airport? Yeah, forced workers, unlucky. I mean, there's no troops there, so it's fine. He could just push forward. The port is pretty forward. Oh, okay, it, he got the airport. And it's actually in a perfect position for air efficiency. Keep, uh, keep in mind that this uh, Axis player is producing, like, outproducing uh, fighters and casts compared to the Allies player, like, quite significantly. Mm. Quite significantly, yeah. It's like it's it's actually such a big difference. Oh, and the allied player is now back on the front line. Did he connect the supply hub? He did, but the problem is the front line is still quite far from both the port and the supply hub. And now he's pushing forward, going for Alagalia. No forts on Alagalia. It's actually all of the two forts that he did build. Mm. The, There's actually the, deorging and uh, the entrenching. The, the mistake that he made is that he didn't instantly attack 
when you're on uh, defensive lines like this, one big advantage he has is that the units weren't able to get planning bonus before they attack him. So, like, what he should be doing is always forcing them off the front line to deny them planning bonus. So, like, right now he should be counterattacking at Agalia and counterattacking the two divisions to the south to make sure that they can never get planning bonus. Um, He's starting to do that now, at least. Yeah, you're but totally AT, right, though. but um, the allied player doesn't even have a field marshal front line. To be fair... He doesn't That's know that. Brief. He doesn't, he doesn't know, that. know that though. Yeah, he doesn't know that. I mean, I, either way though, it's just looking at this. He's starting to like his tanks did 460 soft attack. That's pretty damn good. If he doesn't start making AT anytime soon, he doesn't even have AT two researched. Oh no, 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 Allied Bros, you can win. You can win. Yeah. Uh, he's well, not even making any tanks as well. He has tanks that do really good stats, but he's not actually making more to replace the losses. What, That's what's crazy. the plan here with the tanks? Is he just going to delete some of the tank divisions as uh, as he pushes? That's uh, That seems very... very dumb. <laughs> I, I <will laughs> Give him less stats over time. I mean, he could easily push. If he, if he stacks the tanks right using the supply, he could do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's attacking. He's attacking into the urban tile with low supply. He's also not attacking from the coastal only. So he'll get counter. He'll get multi-attacked. Ally player trying to open the combat with, but is that really what he wants to do here? No, no way. Now it doesn't even matter as he's pushed off. Yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a slow bleed. If he was making tanks, I think there would be a clear path, but now it's a lot more problematic. He could elect because he built, sank the uh, Yamato. He probably has enough supremacy with the ship underwater to do a naval invasion at like Tripoli, for example. He could even do one at Gavis because it's a four with or a four brigade cavalry template. But even so, like he doesn't know uh, that though. Yeah, he could scout. However. Oh yeah, true. He could scout. Yeah, the allied player should be getting naval superiority. Axis player, for some reason, his navy is always on red supply. Again, I'm not really sure how that works. But, it might um, be because Tripoli... Yeah, Tripoli does not count as being connected. So, since he got raided in Central Med, it flickers between being able to project supply and not. So, when his fleet is in the zone and there's no port nearby, according to game logic, he just has nothing. And now, he's pushing off the front line, as you were suggesting. Pretty good. You know, these uh, Axis infantry actually have these stats. Yeah, they're pretty good. He's they still now, building the fort in the center as well. As well. They, He's up to level 4. They now also have support rocket artillery as well. If I'm him, I'm I'm going to stop building a fort at level 5 and then start focusing on Agalia. I think he's I mean, setting himself for a major disappointment. Yeah, building uh, level 7. No, he's queued up to level 8 on uh, on this tile. That's a lot of IC. I mean, Keep 8 mind, would be 120% uh, penalty. It's pretty crazy. It, it is a pretty uh, heavy penalty, but it's he loses a, a Galia or loses the supply hub. He's in a very rough position in the first place. Like, it's going to be able to hold there due to supply. Um, one thing also to mention is that, of course, forts are more expensive the higher level you go. You get 500 IC per level. So um, getting to that level is going to take a lot of IC when building IC on the other front line as well. But once you get like level 5 forts on all three of these tiles, if you don't have any bombers to bomb out the forts, I think it's just over. I mean, if you're the allied player here, what would you be doing? If you, it, Assuming that you didn't have omnipotence of what the German build was, from what you could gather from the front line, your situation, well, he's got time to pivot. Uh, I don't know what the allied player just did, but all of his guys just desupplied. Does add Wait, something? Let me look. Oh, four anti-air. What? <laughs> Wait, what? He has more air attack than soft attack. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this. Where is this? You think Cass is king? That's what the division's called. Huh. Uh, no comment. I'd have to see these. And then he also added a bunch of artillery to his infantry these are I mean, the stats are pretty good. The stats have no business being that good. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, he's got such insane production efficiency on the AA. He's making six a day with five. Yeah, you could actually afford this. The beginning. Yeah. It's 140 AA. That's actually not bad.
He has AA, the thing that... Wait, what was the thing? Oh, it was just like a moment. Actually, no. What, what is... What are they losing in strength? Manpower? That's weird. He has the manpower. I guess they're just taking... Get in there. Yeah, sometimes when you're low on supply, it won't... Like, it, it, the game just starts being weird. I don't know. If, if I'm if I'm the allied here, I just start going into tanks. Unless yeah. you want to make, like, super soldier infantry. That's actually what I was trying to say is... Um... Like, you have these tanks that the enemy can't pierce. Um, and... Well, the thing is, he didn't do the Sherman thing. He didn't upgrade the... Sh he didn't get the medium tank. He didn't get he the improved medium tank before getting the spawn in. So they're not as... The divisions aren't as good as they can be. But if you did do that, and you... Even with these tanks, you could be producing these tanks and be in a good position, I think. Not to mention the fact, I just saw he actually sank even more ships on the... The uh, or the Axis side. If I'm him, like he should be scouting out to see the coastline. He would see that he doesn't have anything at Tunis, Algeria, yeah. Morocco. He could literally naval invade behind, and he forces his divisions to pull back from where he is now because he can't yeah. continue the offensive. He would run out of supply at two tiles off of Galia. If if I'm the, because did he just spawn in Cav as well? Yeah, he has yeah. a bunch of cav divisions. He could just naval invade. Because you know how we've seen it before where people will land in Algeria and then sit, like Iran, for example, and then they just sit there with the mountains and it's a pain in the ass to get rid of? He just yeah. commits so many more divisions. Yeah, I think um, I think that's also part of the play is you got to do some naval invasions. You're winning navally, right? You sunk his Yamato, um, and uh, every naval engagement, you seem to be trading better. Why not go for the naval invasions? You can see that he has actual full naval superiority now, even in West Mediterranean Sea. Um, and he's cleared a lot of these submarines. Is the Axis player even building new submarines? Okay. I, the only thing I would critique him on is, is that when yeah. you go Commonwealth, you get naval bombers. Like, you spawn in naval bombers. You get 50 of them. He should be putting them in Crete and then bombing the air zone so he could kill the submarines. Because if he does end up going for a strat where he's invading in Tunis, Algeria, his units will get intercepted forever yeah well yeah so naval invasions definitely could be to play also keep in mind that the ally player is only one victory point down since it's Benghazi, Crete, Malta, Gabez, and Wadan so X player in the advantage holding three of the victory points but two of them on the side of allies so if he can just somehow get Gabez and hold it um it doesn't matter that the Axis player built forts here it doesn't Ooh. matter at all you know what would be so insane if he's able to naval invade at Tunis, right, if he looks at the railroad map, Constantine is where the junction of his railroad supply goes through. And as we've established already, he can't get supply because of the raiding through Tripoli. So, especially Agalia as well. If he cut that railroad junction, right, even temporarily, all the divisions on the front line will, will starve. It wouldn't even require that much. He could do it with a single fucking division. And then he had, like... Bigger scale as well. He could land like 10 divisions and just be an absolute rat in the islands or in the mountains of Algeria. And it could just be insufferable to deal with that because he won't have supply. And technically, it, the divisions will be counted as cut off from capital. So they won't get any fuel back or anything. His airports won't even have efficiency as well because they won't get supply. I don't know, though. He seems to be... He seems to be lacking right now. Is there a command to list the players? It is... I don't even know how to say the name. Catchdoll. Catchdoll? It's Catchdoll. Catchdoll. And then M7MD. Also, I didn't know this. Did you see that Guy Simmons actually says a unique uh, leader trait? Gives a 10% artillery attack and 15% planning speed. Yeah, he's, pretty, that. he's pretty good. That's interesting that when you do promote Montgomery, promote Simmons, it tells you on the tooltip. Even Dwight Eisenhower. All of them uh, do. Yeah, but when you do the Soviets, when you do Red October, it doesn't tell you because you, you change ideology. He just dropped two to five shitty paratroopers along the railway behind Tripoli and cut it that way? No, because he doesn't have uh, air superiority shadow. Let me double check to make sure I'm not capping. Yeah, he has 33% efficiency. The best way he could do it is by leaning into naval advantage. This this axe player is just digging here on the front line. I, now the longer this He's goes so on, so vulnerable. The longer that this goes on, the less the less able the allied player is going to be able to do anything on this front line. Actually, I think it's already reached that point 
where they can't where the ally player can't do anything on this front line so um you know the thing is though axis player is not you know so vulnerable you're so right like why did ally player could basically scout this out and see there's no poor garrisons in tunis no poor garrisons in algeria no poor garrisons in morocco all of the axis troops are here on the front line there's forts on the front line he's building radar now <laughs> he's building a bigger he, he, air base he, like if i'm him he's got i don't even know how many he's got like 15 plus he's got 16 divisions i'd probably retreat back to that original line on the mountain Consolidate the line as much as possible, get entrenchment, and then send basically your entire army to go do that naval invasion. That, of course, like, it's, the, it's such the play. Of course, you can get caught by submarines. The thing is, though, he's killing. But he has killing. planes to bomb them. Oh, there's a naval battle. Oh. If, he, and... if he's... So help me God, if he sinks the fleet, I'm going to be very annoyed if he doesn't capitalize. Yeah, like now, this is... He's killed two light cruisers, seven destroyers. Yeah, it's not even close. Nine destroyers, yeah, like that, Look, that's... he didn't lose a single screen. Oh my god. At this point, the fleet is so damaged, he could probably split it up in two and then set one on escort and the other on strike four. So even if he gets yeah. into a battle, the convoys are covered and he yeah. can win the battle. I think... Oh, and the actually catching more? Yeah, catching more submarines. I was about to say, Axe's player is down to four subs and he just lost another one. So he's down to three subs um and he had his dockyards on repair so um even the sub issue is kind of solved by the way ally player can literally go one tile oh no never mind x player is just sitting he's just sit sitting his navy ally player hasn't noticed that is he have it on patrol on this tile if he did he would easily find it again and just sink the rest um but uh what i was saying is um you know even the naval invasions being caught if you send out a bunch of single in naval invasions to all these ports like it's only hard. a couple, it, only a couple of them will get caught, right? Yeah, I mean, well, the game's a little jank sometimes. The way it's coded is that when you send out convoys, one stack can respond to multiple in the water. Because before there was that problem in, I don't even know, it's like two years ago, a year ago, where one submarine would attack a singular convoy and just ignore like the two hundred passing it. So sometimes <laughs> you'll intercept all of them, and the other times it might be based on detection. But either way, yeah, like he could put. You could just bum rush everything and most of them will get through. <laughs> it, it's just annoying because we've seen before when they're able to get dominance in the, in the sea zones and you land in the ports, the amount of divisions that you need to properly respond to it is like five to one. And if he lands two on each port, he's going to be so stretched thin that he actually might be able to push in, in out of the Galia. But now he's yeah. just suiciding into the fort tile and he doesn't have any planes to properly respond. He's getting cast. He doesn't have the full supply limit. Like this is the best way to approach it. I really hope he thinks outside of the box, because otherwise it's gonna be very it's gonna be very unfortunate. These cast ticks are insane. The the cast ticks are actually insane. He's casting for ten on average. It looks like he does need those divisions after all. You think cast is king? Think again. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we might be cooking. He's making two with motorized. Okay. Out of Twelve clon Oh my god. Is he cooking? I think he's he, planning on doing it. Uh, he would have to even I'm gonna be I'm a main character syndrome this. If I'm playing him and I'm landing with two with motorized, I would have to micro like Jesus Christ incarnate to be able to actually pull you something. You think off. you think Jesus was good at microing? Yes. I think he's got he, did, he didn't even have a computer. How would he be good at microing? He's a god. He could pull he could figure some shit out. Debatable, debatable. I mean, that being said, like, I don't know if landing with two with cavalry is the play because you could, you could, you could snake everywhere, right? But even then, if you put a two with cat or two with motorized in a mountain tile, it's still going to fucking lose. You're just going to lose like 80% of your HP on the first tick and then you just retreat. You should be doing this with like at least five with. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah. good at microing to walk over water. Screw! I don't know what microing has to do with walking on water, but. Uh, two with motorized, aren't they just gonna deorg like after walking two tiles? Uh, actually, they have 70 it's vanilla org, defined, what? so they should be fine. Yeah, there's yeah, it's just raw infantry. That being said, like, they're he should not do this. He, even if he micros flawlessly and he takes all of his core, oh, wait, you know what? I just considered there might be something to this. I don't think this is what he's going for. If he lands at Iran. Melia, Algiers, and Sayuda, right? 
and he snakes, and he does it with the, the motorized, by the time the divisions come back from the front line to stop him, he would actually capitulate. Yeah, he could. He's going for the capitulate. But, I mean, he wouldn't be able to take Casablanca because there's those there's that one calf division, and two with motorized won't be able to win. He'd, if he can bring one or two good inf to take Casablanca, he could actually... I like this. He could, if he did it... If he actually had hands and properly did this, he would win. Forget everything, though. Let's just uh, tunnel vision on the front line. Great. Great. Wow. I mean, not to mention, I would also add that he could just take the two tanks that are doing absolutely nothing and send it over there. If I'm him, I'm going for the all-in Hail Mary. This is the most devious tech I've ever seen in my life. The all-in Hail so no Mary. Like, you, you, can, you, you back me up here. He has no divisions in training. The only nearby division is at Gavis, but it's not even connected to the railroad, so it would have to retreat back and then through where you would inevitably land. So good luck getting past Algiers, which is where you need to go on Strat Redeploy. Like, he would land at Iran and then take the motorized division and drive it three a tiles Axis, down. He could cut it off for sure. Axis Bros, what he would have to do is he would have to pair drop back to his homeland. I don't even think that would work. That uh, actually, he would, where would he pair drop from the airport he has? He did, the closest he think he goes like southern Tunisia, and then he still has the route, Shari boy. If he goes, if he goes from the one in Tripoli. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Just, so you would have to I, I pair like drop this. all the way back home. Counter oh, pair drop. But, you know what this makes know. me want? What? I, 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 because we got robbed of it last time because of my internet. I, after this game, I want to do that show match. I want to play against you. We've been armchair generaling for a while now. I need to, I need to see when we're in the oh, hot think, seat. What I think happens? My internet this is actually bad. No, no, don't flake. No, you cannot flake. I don't know, dude. I'll Everybody in chat, check. bully him. People in chat, bully him. Bully him. We will host the lobby and we will assume his internet's fine. Bully Habibi. If we get five subs on Speed 5 Official, I'll do it. Why do you make it? Bruh. <laughs> Surely someone will sub. Sauce the winner Bezos money? Give me the money. I'm a shill. Give me the money. Oh my god, Shadow Somebody actually did, did it. it. God, okay. god damn it, Shadow, now use it for mine! It. Now we have oh. to do it. Now we have to do it. Bruh, and bruh, 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 bruh. The guys in Sweden are going to be happy with us getting them subs. This is true. So, Alright, I guess we're doing a 1v1 show match. Are we doing it on this map? What do you want? You want to do cool. this map or this Ryan? Map? You want to do this map? Okay. Give me... Who? Ooh, okay. What what side do I want to play? You go Axis. Mm, I don't know if I want to go Axis. You know what? Give me give me allies. I want to go allies. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Give you allies? Yeah, give me allies. Unless you're afraid. I'm not afraid. Really? Why do you get to pick? Because you pick the nation, or you pick this the map. Okay, you pick the map then. I pick the map. Yeah. Rhineland. What side on Rhineland do you want? I rather play Axis. The Axis on Rhineland, huh? You know what? Let's do Sun and Bloom. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Grandpa. I don't know. I'm just not in a mood to micro right now, but you know what? Let's do it. The guy did the five subs. I did not expect that to happen, but he did it, and I would feel bad if I didn't Fucking do it now. Fucking Shadow. He's spending Shadow money killer. on not my channel. God damn it, Shadow. Dude, ew. what are you doing, Golden? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm greedy, and I need a main character, even on this stream. I want 20 subs. To it's part of our contract to motivate people to sub to this channel when we're broadcasting here, man. That is so that is so cap skipper. I will pull I'm pulling up the contract right now. 
I am curious that in the meantime, remember when we did the last stream? Was it last stream or two streams ago? Do, is there a sub tracker what we've gotten up to? Because they do EU4 shows as well. I'm curious if Speed 5 is, has hit the sub goal. Oh, wait, no, we need seven more sub points. Uh, I think it needs to update because the sub points were before. So actually it needs. But yeah, the, there was a multiverse. They haven't been doing EU4. They've been doing the multiverse. I'm not really sure how that show works. And then they just did the City Skylines one the other day. If that seven sub points does not update, we might have to go into show mode. It's okay. Um, we we will 1v1 on this map. I'll go Axis. Go Allies. Do you really want Allies? I can give you Allies if you're that desperate. No, I don't actually no, know what I desperate? want. No, I'm not desperate. Okay. Okay, bud. Okay, dude. Dude. In the meantime, the two map looks like melted ice cream. He's making marine. It does well. actually. Oh my god, he's doing it. Is he doing it? Are we gonna see it? Sorry, I go for. I feel he, like we got. He's threading the needle and not going oh, for the is. two most important ports. By the way. He's not going for Iran or Melia. He's going for a Seudo, which doesn't have a port, by the way. Okay. He's la going to launch, though. Uh, he can launch in 18 days because he didn't this separate really, them. This really tilts me. This is not how you should be going about this. This, th I think this will fail, honest to God. He's doing Marines on Malta, but if something we've learned about this map is if you don't have the cast damage... You will never land. You will never land. I actually think my odds of winning Timeless? today are like 2 percent <laughs> I need like hey, I coffee or up. caffeine or something. I haven't played Osu, early nothing. Oh, it's 100 days, by guy. the way. Hundred days left until the, it is over. Mm -hmm. Want him to think outside the box? He's thinking outside the box. I did, but the problem is, is he's he has the opportunity to blatantly win the game in a convincing fashion, but he's putting himself in a position where this out of the box strat will do fuck all. Like it will just fail because he's not doing it properly. That's what annoys me. If he gave it a full earnest try and assigned proper divisions to it, then it's different if it fails because then he did everything he could. But. You know, like landing with motorized divisions that are two width, so they have very, very little fuel stockpile, means that they're gonna walk like two tiles and run out of fuel, and he won't have Melia unless he rushes for it immediately. By the way, his divisions now have uh, support anti tank, so he's got enough piercing. And at this point, it doesn't even matter. The tanks aren't getting resupplied, and he has better casts. Trading better on the air. Oh, actually, you know, air is about even. He got better air superiority, though. Weirdly enough, he's got these two forward air bases, but he's not putting any airplanes in them. What's the point of that? Maybe it was because of the supply issue being on the tile. It might be supply status ruining his mission efficiency. Don't oh, know yeah. for sure, though. That makes sense, actually. Hmm. I don't know. Looking at this, I am concerned that if he pulls it off, it would be sick. I just don't, I just don't see it panning out. Just because he won't have anything to kill Casablanca, he has now drawn an order that will go around all of Africa to get Casablanca. Casablanca. Oh. When is he gonna I'm launch? Have faith. He doesn't have that many days. When's he gonna launch? I think he's waiting for his Marines to become trained. Yeah, he's waiting for his Marines to get trained, but every day he loses more time. Mm. I'm just staring. I'm waiting. There. I'm not right now, dopamine. this is actually stare moment. Where is my dopamine? There. There. Oh, God. I just realized another... Uh, there, okay, another mistake by the Allied player. I've spoken before about the strength of Canada. If you look at their generals, he, they roll someone at the start, which is an organizer. You could promote him and then get access to Logistics Wizard, which is a flat 15% supply reduction. As well as a 10% max planning bonus. Like, Organizer is blatantly the strongest on this map. 
You know what? Yeah, let's he's not using it. Let, let's ask chat what map they want for the one v one. Chat, which map do you want to see for the one v one? Pacific is outruled. No Pacific. Is it Pacific because I beat you on Pacific last time? No, it's because Pacific is sleeper. At least for me. It's it can be good on the hands of someone who knows time. what they're doing. Yes, it's that's because exactly he lost why. last time. I have better naval divisions. As a now sub, I want Ryan. I agree. Jordan also said Ryan. This guy called Curious Beats sleeper. You're you're overruled. Okay, Ryan. Okay, Curious then who? you get to pick. You can pick the side too. I want Pacific. I financed it. Overruled. Overruled. Your Honor, that's a veto. He doesn't want Pacific because I won on Pacific last time. Tommy K against him and Bo. And they not only that, not only that, not only that, they used they used an exploit and they still lost. What exploit did we use? Mine laying is an exploit in my eyes. I don't care what you say. That that is your okay. Keep coping, Buster. <laughs> it keep slows coping. down the game. You ruined your own odds by doing. That is it. the most cap shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, laying laying mines laying mines is is, che Aww, is cheating. He's upset. Oh. Well, you're the one that lost. I'm not upset. I'm just saying that you're cheating. Hey, hey! I didn't it's, have to get carried by Tommy K. I didn't have to get carried by Tommy K. What I mean, what else do I need to say? <laughs> get carried. <laughs> sure, you can say that. Fine. I got carried Feel by Tom K. That's something I'm not afraid to say. Play better next time, okay? Well, you failed to carry Bo Cohen, your love. So, I think that's more hurt hurtful. They need it. I think they should look at uh, tuning down Mubot slightly, by the way. Yeah, Mubot is right now 19. I don't want to say it because I might get banned. If I say the, the four, <laughs> four numbers, you get banned. <laughs> <laughs> if you Wait, say you do? It, yeah, if you say 1984? You, if you say a certain four numbers that Golden just said, you will get banned by Mubot. Why? It's a banned phrase. I don't know. Why is that a banned <laughs> phrase? <laughs> let me test it. Let me test it. Midge man, please. You are, no, you are oh! a moderator. Midge oh! <laughs> Did you get banned? You got spammed last event? Why did they get spammed last event? Because <laughs> Mubot is too radical. <laughs> It's a tyrant. Uh. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, whenever chat spams, within reason, it could be, it could be very. Yeah, it's, it was annoying though. I'll be honest though. Uh, during season one, there was a group oh, really? of, there was literally a group of guys that were in Discord trying to harass the chat as much as possible. Ooh. Yeah. Um, it was, it was like they were purposely being annoying. Like there was one guy that was asking questions, and uh, what's her name? Uh, Lady Magnus was falling for the bait like ninety percent of the time. Like they would ask like, like dumb hoi four questions basically, and they oh, would see. at speed five official. Oh, here we go! Naval Vagin launching. Did you notice, by the way, he never actually did propaganda, and with all the penalties from combat casualties convoy rating, he's already at 45 war support. If he had been doing propaganda, he'd be down to like 20% war support. Swimmy is also a banned word. Wait, Swimmy's also a banned Why is Swimmy banned? <laughs> because there was, when Golden was doing well, there was like a copy pasta that uh, Swimmy is telling Golden what to do in his earpiece. By the way, he launched all from the same port, so they all got caught, so now the oh. Axe player knows. Wait, wait, do you, do you mean it was from one, like, actual during the, the one in uh, Stockholm? Yeah. Wait, that's that's actually pretty funny, though. It is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this naval invasion's actually working from the side of the axis. He, yeah, he's he getting escorted as well. Yeah, he might be able to get Malta, actually, and now he's launching everywhere else. All of the naval invasions are going. Is he going to be able to hold? Does, is the Alex's player even re responding? He just got the weep noise, yeah, so yeah, he's going to... Last stand soon, I'm assuming. Got a, he's doing the last stand now. It's now switched to a green bubble, but I still think that it is unless he moves his cast. I mean, the Marine's pretty cast, good. He moved his cast. He moved his cast. I he mean, put he never built a coastal fort. Never put coastal fort up. He's yeah, doing pretty good stats. The division just landed. He put a division with no org, so it instantly died. Oh, come on, man. He's getting shore bombarded now. Every time you're in a naval battle, by the way, your fleet can't project the shore bombardment, by the way. He's oh, snaking. Algiers is cut off. He no longer has a railroad connection. He no longer has a railroad connection to the front line. And it's it's uh, everything is getting snaked. Is he going to go for the cap play with these uh, motorized divisions going switching back to the allied player's perspective? He's speeding around. Speeding Gonzalez. These divisions are driving around. They're having the road trip 
of North Africa, the Grand Tour. Yeah. Oh Washington, my God! If he's the, going for Casablanca, Axe Spear has Green. nothing in queue. He has now, but they have to reach twenty percent for him to launch to deploy. And they're oh. right now eleven. Look! How look! Is look! He look! Getting enough percent, he just got one percent. I told you before, look at the supply, by the way. He has no supply connection on the front line. He has red supply. If he waits, he could just walk in because all the divisions are no longer connected to capital because Sayuda counts as a straight crossing and he has no port access. Is that player going to go? Is he going to go for it? Meanwhile, Malta is still going, switching between Malta green, should be red. dead. He, he, he should start, even if the battle uh, loses. No, he could just even launch if the battle loses he here, launch he could just launch one. another one and the divisions won't have supply on Malta. And now Axe's player is... Uh, oh, he forced attacked again. Wait, 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 maybe? He forced attacked again? I think he has enough strength, maybe. If this division dies, it's less that is uh, projecting... Oh, the Japanese fleet just died. Is all dead. Yeah, oh he just lost God. the carriers. Yeah. All, everything of the Japanese fleet. Japan, is bros, no. There's 17 days. Wait, there's 17 days left. So if he holds Malta, he actually wins. Unless uh, Gabez goes to the hand of the Axis. Is he Alibair. planning another naval invasion? Allied players is going, but the, uh, Gabez Assign is holding. divisions. He has an order. He literally has an order design. Look at the purple army group. Just send them again. Just left. All he needs to do to win the game right now is control, control left, left click. click. Control, control left, left click. click. That's Axe it. player now 70% towards capitulation. It's 13 days left, less than two weeks. And no. Gabez is holding, Gabez is holding, Wadan is holding, and Malta is no, holding. No, And now please. those divisions are reorging. Assign the Marines! Assign the fucking Marines! He can do it! He actually gets it! And now Ain't he's no going way. for a Now the Axis player is now paradrooping back on Malta, so Malta holds. Paradroopers are now chilling in Malta. He now needs to just not uh, hold the cat of the capitulation, and as long as he holds Casablanca, yeah. I think he's fine. Yeah, yeah um, I think he's over. It yeah, over. and it's eight days left. Eight days left for the Allied player to do something. Axis player is still holding three of the victory points. And now the he just spawned in those three divisions. Those two with motorized, even though they're fighting against green divisions, it doesn't matter. They're two with motorized. They're not going to be able to do anything against these actual divisions that the Axis player has just popped out. And, uh, yeah, that's it. He didn't get capped. He's holding three of the victory points. I don't see Ally player being able to take any of them. Malta is now holding with paratroopers now on it. Two days left. Oh, my God. All around me are familiar. Fa it's over. Told you. If, if you landed proper divisions... If you're taking Casablanca, it would have been over. Can't believe the map looks like this, and this is an Axis win. But that's how it works. He needed to you land the, the tanks. Rules. I told you before, if he lands the tanks at Milena, Melina, Melilia, whatever the fuck, then he could just take Casablanca, and the game's over. He wins. Axis City Ifni is also 12 VPs as well. He just needs to take the two cities and he's dead for sure. You know the rules, and so do I. Come on, chat. We all know Swimmy was actually in college's ear the entire time feeding him hoist strats. How else could college make a one such a 180 from his drastic performance in Bo BG games? Swimmy was feeding him the crucial information the entire time. He's got college by the balls to ensure that Golden does not win. It's all part of Swimmy's master plan. Just the Swimmy slip and swag intended. So true.